What it is, yo. We're back with another top five exclusive right here at MacGuffinPodcast.com. I'm Alan. I'm Brandy. And today on the top five, we will be talking about our top five death scenes. Ooh. Um Death is a common event yeah, that's in films. Pretty much like every movie, pretty much has <laughs> yeah. one. So, so and um, these are our favorite. Um, now, obviously, with a topic such as death scenes, there's going to be spoilers. So, <laughs> if you haven't seen these films, sorry, <laughs> but we're going to spoil it for you. Most of mine are pretty classic. So, if you haven't seen them by now, I don't really, yeah, don't really pity you. So. All right. So, um, did you want to start or me? Sure. Okay. All right. Number five. Uh, this is um a very memorable scene not just because somebody dies in it <laughs> but because of the way that they die uh -oh. and that would be the scene in scanners with the exploding head Ooh. have you seen this movie david no Kramer, i haven't seen okay. this unfortunately it's... yeah <laughs> spencer's looking at me it's like what's wrong about, with you um basically people who have sort of like psychic telekinetic powers and there's a, a scene where um someone is demonstrating their power in this fashion mm -hmm. and makes another person's head explode <laughs> and it is like i don't understand how they made it look like someone's head really, really exploded, exploded. <laughs> like, it's just like really impressive you should just youtube it and watch the like one minute of the guy like being all intense and then all of a sudden just bam head explosion it's like massive it's... headache so bad that your head like bursts <laughs> <laughs> it's very impressive and very awesome yeah I'm I'm sold. I'm sold on that movie. <laughs> All right, um, moving on to my number five death scene. Um, death scenes are common in horror films. Yes. I think it's safe to say. And uh, my number five horror film uh, is from 1973, and it is the ending of The Wicker Man. Uh, I know you love The Wicker Man. Again, Edward Woodward. stop listening if you don't know the twist ending of yes. The Wicker Man. Yes, stop listening because <laughs> it's classic. Uh, Edward Woodward. This cop who goes on this island to try to find out what happened to this missing girl meets a whole bunch of people that act really weird act really strange he's not sure what's going on and then uh, at the end we come to discover that they're a cult and they have chosen him to freaking be <laughs> their human sacrifice you get human that sacrifice is a very specific kind of death scene right? <laughs> you get that great um screaming from edward woodward oh my god oh my god it's it, no it's crazy and they stuff him inside that huge ass wicker man light him on fire <laughs> and dance around singing songs it's crazy it's disturbing but it's classic and it's awesome nice, so, nice. okay well my number four is also the final scene of a horror movie <laughs> Yes. Not the Wicker Man. Uh, a little bit earlier, just as classic, Night of the Living Dead. Oh, um, man. I mean, you basically could pick... There's a lot of good death scenes in this, yeah. right? But the one that sticks with you is the one that is just so unfair that comes right That's at the so, very end. That's so... Oh, man. <laughs> when Ben has... Oh, he's made it through the night, and the, yeah. the posse is there to save him. Yeah. And they see him in the window. They think he's a zombie, and they shoot him. And that it's over. sucks. <laughs> it his sucks body gets thrown on the pile. It sucks because you see, like, like the entire movie, you see him like fighting against like the zombies and the people that he actually gets into the house with. He has to like fight off in a sort of way too. And it's like he yes, really he earns made that it survival. Through. He earns being like the final man standing, and then it's just completely unceremonious. It's like, like shocking. And being that you know, Night of the Living Dead is like. Like what the first great zombie movie mm -hmm. say to say it must have been like how shocking it's to see very, like, it's very effective yeah even and now it's startling so. yeah it's oh man yeah poor after ben. i saw that i was like what the heck poor poor ben <laughs> all right um my number four uh death scene is from 1964 a little more on the uh, comedy side of things uh it is that classic moment uh when major king kong rides the missile all the way down to his death in stanley kubrick's <laughs> dr strange love um slim pickens man one of a kind person one of a kind character in that film he's the commander of this bombardier that's <laughs> <laughs> accidentally sent on a mission to drop a nuclear yeah. bomb on Russia and I mean you know by golly he's going to do it no matter what even though the system short circuits he gets on that bomb <laughs> he fixes it and well what do you know he he rides it down like a bronco all the way down so this is actually the ultimate death scene though because then the whole world dies yeah <laughs> so i mean and we're all dead at the end of doctor Shane, exactly so. and his was the one that triggered it all so. yeah. 
Good stuff. Good yeah. film. It's a good film. <laughs> love Everybody's it. dead. Yeah, okay. it's kind of funny how you love a film where everyone <laughs> dies at the end. Well, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, my number three, uh, your classic Hail of Bullets death. Again, mm. again, the final scene in a film, and that is from Bonnie and Clyde. Mm, yes. Oh, just a lot of bullets, right? <laughs> like, they just keep shooting. <laughs> Shooting. They've got, they finally got Bonnie and Clyde cornered. It's like, I it's think like, we're dead. Yeah. You know? I think just you guys got us. More and more bullets into their bodies until it's absurd. It's it's awesome, too, because the way their bodies are like going like this, <laughs> like shaking from all the bullets that are going in. So it's like, holy crap, dude. Come on. Like, two bullets could have been enough. You know, we have to go, like, we're you done. have to unload an entire now? clip on them. It's like, holy crap. Um,. <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, it's one of the great movie endings, right? It's and one it's of the great like... movie endings. <laughs> one of the great, great films. That that movie would not have worked without that ending. Um, yeah, it needed something that was worthy of the the characters and the spree they had gone on. Exactly. And the bizarre other <laughs> earlier events. So. You gotta love those, those characters that go out in a hail of gunfire. We may be talking about oh. it later on. Uh, okay, moving on to my number three. Uh, now, my number three death scene... Um, I picked because of how intense it was. I mean, this was a really intense death. Um, it is the Russian roulette scene in The Deer Hunter. Mm. Um, man, just... Okay, so you have Robert De Niro, who's going back to Vietnam to save his friend Christopher Walken, who... <laughs> for I mean, he went literally crazy uh, being over there, um, working as this guy who enters Russian roulette games. Um, and for those who don't, don't know what Russian roulette... Don't ever do that. Yeah, Russian roulette. I mean, you play with guns, shooting yourself in the head. And gosh, you know, <laughs> it goes to show how much Michael's car Michael in that film loves Nick. To, to, to go to the point of actually participating in the Russian roulette game just to, you know, show how much he wants Nick to come back uh, home, you know, and it's just so intense and gosh, every time, like, I know what's I'm going tensing, to happen. I'm just thinking yeah. about it. Every, <laughs> even though I know it's going to happen, every time I see that scene and I see them put the gun up to their head and pull the triggers, like, oh, God, <laughs> like, oh, my God, please. No. It's just too much. There's no you know? reason to ever play Russian roulette. Okay, we don't, we don't need there, it. Yeah, no, no reason. <sighs> okay. Number two, gotta have this on the list. One of the iconic death scenes uh, of all of cinema, Psycho, the shower scene. Yeah. Um, just the, you know, the way it's shot is marvelous. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's, I've seen Psycho so many times and every time the scene's coming up, it's just like, you can't help but be like, no, oh my God, here it comes. <laughs> like, <laughs> And then that pullback from her eye, you know, it's just a lot of these death scenes, the body, you know, once a person's dead, the body is sort of like, whatever. Mm -hmm. But Hitchcock lingers. He lingers on it. It's like, look, this person who you thought was the main protagonist in the film is not the yeah, main protagonist anymore. Yeah, it's so anymore. key to the plot. It's It was obviously so shocking to audiences at the time, and it mm -hmm. hasn't lost an ounce of effectiveness no matter how many times you see it. So yeah. It's just... Absolutely Mar incredible scene. Um, I have more to say about that, Ooh. but we'll probably talk about it later. Uh, moving on to my number two death scene. Uh, speaking about going out in a hail of gunfire, I could not have made this list if I did not include Tony Montana <laughs> going out like a badass that he is in Scarface. I mean, you have it's one my favorite dude... part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> one dude with a gun taking on an entire freaking army. Another I mean, thing you should never do. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, don't go balls out the way he does. Um, yeah, just the balls in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Tony Montana, his little friend, taking out all these guys, uh, the grenade launcher blowing everyone up. I mean, it even gets to the point where he runs out of ammo, drops the gun, and he's still taking shots from guys. And he's like, come on, come you can't do nothing i'm tony montana and he goes out freaking with that that dude with the sunglasses and the shotgun to the back tony montana falls over into the pool you're such slow, a nerd about the <laughs> slow pan up to the globe the world is yours it's just freaking awesome one of the great classic death scenes one of the great endings to to a movie i i love that i love it so okay moving on <laughs> now you did say it was the best scene of that movie though right yeah because i think we can all agree it's, it's the best scene 
Not her ball. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Number All one, right. pretty much the only death scene, in my opinion, that can beat Psycho. And that is from Jaws when Queen gets devoured by the shark. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is brutal. And yeah. it's like, there's like no dialogue. There's just that they're just like screaming because yeah. the fucking shark is on the boat. <laughs> and like, this is, <laughs> this is the moment, you yeah. know, this is Quint's stand with the shark and the shark wins. The shark I mean, wins like, hardcore, the shark, dude. And the scene is just like, there's, chomping and yeah. blood it's like and the shit that shit the boat's like freaking tipping <laughs> over and going in it's like the other guys might as well look out too because <laughs> you're next dude you know? and then at the end like Roy Shire's just like <sighs> like like that's that yeah like, that's dead. it like it's gone like, there's really like nothing you can even say after that you're just like holy shit you just saw the shark actually eat someone <laughs> yeah right because like throughout the entire movie it's like you see someone go under the water and then you see like what blood yeah come it's out. all implied now it's like we're not implying nothing dude <laughs> you are going to see quinn get eaten hardcore so, yes the shark uh, is way more hardcore than tony montana <laughs> well that's a matter of debate yeah, anyway um yeah, so my number one is this shower scene in Psycho. I mean, it's classic, you know. Uh, just amazing the way that that scene was edited together. I mean, you you think you see the knife go into into the body, but it doesn't. It's just really, really well made. The sound effects, um, Janet Lee screaming, the the blood going down the drain. Um, for something that was considered so shocking and so brutal, you know, and so horrifying, there wasn't any nudity shown. There wasn't really any gore shown it was just all you know implied through direction acting uh and, and editing it's just one of the one of the classic scenes mm -hmm. um i mean how can you come up with a you know top list of death scenes and not include you, can. you know the classic that's shower we, scene that's why we will include it yes so that does it for our top top five death scenes in film <clears throat> if you have any that you'd like to share there are a lot There's out tons. there um please let it be known at mcguffinpodcast.com and we will see you guys next time peace